All right, we're up, and this time we got Yu-Gi-Oh! New Power of the Elements. Um, I know a lot of people are like, hyped for this set in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because it's, um, has a lot of, like, competitive stuff, like, coming out, um, for, I think there's, like, three or two new archetypes that are, like, competitive and some, um, I think support for other competitive decks or something. But, yeah. I haven't been keeping up with too much of the meta, so, but I know, like, these boxes are, like, they're selling just about retail or over, a little over when, usually you can pre-order, um, most sets for under retail, and usually they'll go for it, but people are just really going for this set because it has a lot of competitive stuff. Um, I forget all the new archetypes and all, like, the good stuff out of this set. I think it's, like, blue something is, like, the big chase card. Oh, I skipped two, and I got the Exo Sister Martha right off the first <laughs> card, right into it, starting off, um... I think this is a good secret. I think it's like the third best secret for Exo Sister Mar This one, Exo Sister Martha. Um, I don't know how the prices are going to be like now, like after that. So, it looks like the secret was the first one off the uh, the top on the. Wow, that's crazy. That means the next one's probably going to be off the top on the other side. And I didn't really pay attention if that card moved around, so yeah. But. Since I don't know too much about the sets, and I don't keep up with the uh, uh, meta, hopefully I can, uh... Oh, Ultra Rare. I don't know if this is a good one. Tom Mortis. It's a cool looking one. Um, I know that's one of the new sets, but I don't know too much about them. Oh my gosh, this is so off-center. Riku Prina. Princess. So this card right here, or this pack here, should be secret, so I'm gonna put it there. Because, yeah, if the mapping is correct, from what I've seen, these pack, like, boxes are mapped, which is, I think, always, almost been the case, unfortunately, but, yeah. Oops, I skipped one. Scareclaw Straddle. I don't know if there's any good supers. I'm assuming since we, a lot of these are, wow, why are these so off-center? Oh my gosh. That doesn't really matter, but, yeah. <laughs> um, so that, some of the supers might be worth, like, a little bit. But, obviously I'm hoping for a Starlight, because I know nothing else, um, about the set. Obviously, I'm not gonna get one, because they are way too hard to pull, unless you're open, like, a case. Sh shift Fairy Goaty. Goaty. Moments, Melfies. But yeah, I don't know if this would be a good- wow, these packs are open like butter. I'm like hold on to since it's more of a competitive style one. It might be because um, like the Starlights in the future might be good. Unless like the decks in here stay competitive for a while. It might be a good boxes to like hold on to. Oops, I skipped one. Selfish Scatter Fusion. Oh, we, oh it's Gem Knight support. Wow. I don't think they do Gem Knight support. Brilliant Rose. <laughs> I thought I forgot about Gem Knights. <coughs> Hopefully one day I can open up a Starlight again, but I don't do case openings or anything like that. It's just too much. Oh my gosh, there's a little nick on that card. Oh well. Oops, skip that. Punk Jam Extreme Session. I know punks are kind of competitive. I'm not sure. I know people, I think people talk about punks, so I don't know if that's a good card for them or not. Maybe one day I'll do a case of winning again if there's a Starlight I really like, but there have to be other stuff in the set too, is the thing. Because like I wanted to open up and try and pull the uh, Stardust Dragon Starlight, but that's just, oops, I skipped it too. Therion Regular. Uh, is Therion new or no? I have no idea. It might be, but I thought the Telomartis were the also new ones. I don't know. He looks cool though. I don't know if he's one of the uh, big ones for the ultras. I know there's some kind of big ultras that people are going for. I forget what ones though. Ravenous, Vandra, Boris, Lady of Mem Lament, Rika, Melfi, Sprig and Red. I'm not sure in modern boxes where the Starlight takes place or if it just takes place of a super. Um, and you get everything else. 
So I think that's what they did, because I think in the old sets it used to be took a secret, but I think now it just takes a super and not even um, like an ultra rare, but I could be wrong. It's been a while. But yeah. Hopefully there'll be a set in the future with a starlight like I really want to chase. And there's other stuff in this set where I feel like it's worth it to open. Like if they do um starlight uh, blue eyes. Definitely do that or like Dark Magician. Hopefully they do one of those one day. Like one of these OGs. The same with is with like Black Rose. I wanted to chase the Black Rose Starlight, but I don't think there's anything else in that set that I care for. And the Trisha one, I kind of wanted to chase, but mainly the Stardust overall is like probably my... Oops, that's a good one. Theron, Empress, Melfi, Penny, all oh, no, that looks adorable. Moki, Moki, Adrift, Drift in Space. Kind of surprising to see they remembered Moki, Moki. Alright. Then I find the left side, and I take the first pack off the top of the left side because that's where the secret is. Melfi, Melfi. Oh, Mary Melfi. So I thought I said literally just a Melfi, Melfi. So I was about to say. Sprite Smashers. Ian Engage. Neo Space. Neo, Neo Support. Double Dust Tornado. It's kind of random sometimes the support you see in some sets. Like they'll just throw in like one or two support cards for a random set like Neo or Gem Knights. Or um, I remember I think one they did was War Rocks and then they like gave. Like, I think like three random war cards in a set like a year after they came out and they were like you know warlocks are just never good to begin with unfortunately fairness corolla vernus vernus uliff corolla they just have that name in there like a bunch of times just so when you try to pronounce it you stumble all right let's see i think the first attack should be an ultra I thought the ultras are mappable, as well as the secrets, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> we'll see. Life Extreme. Ver Vernus Full. I think that's the new archetype, isn't it? Vernus Full Ally? Vernus Full of? Or maybe, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm wrong, I'm probably wrong. Vernus Full of the Witch, or maybe it is. They're like fairies. So they're like Spriggans or something? Oh, not Spriggans, but Fairies? Is that the new archetype? They have a really... <coughs> oh my gosh. An odd name. Alright, well it doesn't look like the Ultra Rare is mappable, but... I took the top card top off and we'll see, on that one, so we'll see if the secret is. If it's not a secret on the top one, then that means I was wrong. And that's good, because I don't want mappable cards. I just Makes it bad. Oh, I skipped. Oh, Sprite Blue. Oh, isn't this the good one? I thought it was one of the good ones. Sprite Blue. That looks cool. What, is, what um, set is this supposed to be? You can only control a rank 2, level rank 2 monster. You special summon this card from your hand. Special summon Sprite. It's Chris Special Mute. Sprite from your deck. It's, okay, so uh, Sprite's the new archetype? What? What other sprite cards are in here? Or is that support? I don't know. I think this is what, the good secret. It doesn't look like the secret is mappable, at least. Now I get more than one secret, or two secrets. That'd be cool, but... I think Sprite Blue is a good one, but I don't remember. I thought it was. Um, I know the Field Spell is a good one, too. I forget what it's called. Scar the Vandred. Crosskeeper. Amaze Attraction, Thrill Train, Punk Jam, Extreme Session, Terror's Ult, Talman's Crime, Moki Moki. Branded, Clunk and Ship, Shire, Talmarance, Havanus, Highlander, Exosister, Return, huh? Melfi Penny. Moki Moki, Branded, Dogmatica stuff. I know Dogmatica has been used for a while with like a lot of mixture and other stuff, but I don't know what else it's used to mix in anymore, because I know it's like Albez, Dogmatica, uh, what's the other stuff? I think some people use it with Shadals. 
Um, are they used to? Pace's Light of Goatee. What the? It's like a jelly UFO in outer space. It's a fish. It's very trippy. Oh, there's a Sprite Red. I like how Sprite Red is common and blue is a secret rare. Like, <laughs> they really shafted red. Can you even give them a super? Poor guy. I wonder what that is. That might be an ultra then. Um, a pack or maybe it's just a super. It's probably just a super. Vanguard. Pump Jam Dragon Drive. What the? It's like two kids in a costume? Or three kids? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know too much about the punk archetype. I thought they were all like... I don't know actually. I don't know what the acronym is supposed to stand for. I probably like look that up. But it looks like it's people in mech suits, kind of like, we're not mech suits. That's not really a mech suit. It's like a, just a, I don't know. Tronic, math mech, <laughs> math mech. <laughs> they put math mechs in here. Sprite pixies, thunder. It's like they're gonna, UFO, telemortis, Merley. Elfie, Iron Fist, Elephant. It looks like the, kind of like the elephant from old school Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, what was it, what was it, was it just called Gigantus Elephante? And the Pegasus you? Just if it was like, you know, normal elephant, like, walking instead of standing like it does in the, that old card. Shift Fairy of Goatee. Sprite Carrot. Okay, so they have to go from carrot colors to carrot? I thought their theme was, I thought they were going to be like, colors, but no, they're just like, that, that one's a carrot, the other, the other two are red and blue. Ravenous fan trade, Crawler Soma, Mary Melfi's, Telemartis, Scatter Fusion, Rika, Sentry of Goatee, God, I don't know if it's Goaty or Gaudy. I think it's supposed to be Goaty. Or go, yeah, like Jody. It could be like Jody though. G H J G J Go Godi. I want to say Godi. It sounds like Godi. Gadget gamer. Oh, there's a gamer card. I'm gaming. Life extreme. Oh, it's power tool, but he's like taking off all of his armor to become that one other card in the show. I forget what it's called. Telemarketer's Shire. Shire. How do I spell tier, tier Lamont? Oh, like okay, Tier Lamont. Lim, tier Lamont. Uh, it took me that long to figure out Tier Lamonts. Like Tier and Lamont. Okay. Uh. All right. So yeah, I guess like this card was the um, Ultra, I guess. I think that was a secret. So at least uh, it wasn't as mappable as I thought it was. Branded Explosion, because the secret was more than a few cards down. Yeah. There is the fairies, the flourishing hills, something like that. I don't know. I don't know what the good ultras are in here. Um, I'm assuming some of them from that. I don't know, like what the competitive decks are. I don't know if they're all three of them are, or if it's the sprites. Because I thought the sprites were. Because I thought sprite blue was good. Is either, is either, I think it might have been the, the best card actually. I don't remember. I could be wrong. One more booster box. I'm gonna go for it. Maybe I can get a starlight. <laughs> I doubt it. But yeah, those are the new three new ones: like Sprite, Tier Elements, and um, Vernisulif. I cannot stand Vernisulif. I think it's Vernisulif. I could be wrong. You got like electric little imp thingies, or I guess they're called sprites, fairies, and um, like. I don't know, they have so many like waifu kind of like cards. They have just like waifu number 1000 of a million. Instead of going like high tech like Sky Strikers, they look more elegant like classic fancy dresses. I don't know. Something like that. Mary Melfi's. 
but that card's really adorable. Favorite favorite contact. Oh, you got Neo Simulum, Shining, Shining Neo, Shining Neo Simulum. Huh? They have two new ones in there. The first one off the top is a Ultra Rare. You go right into a hit. But yeah, I've only pulled one Starlight, and I was lucky to pull that one because Scar Scareclaw Straddle. Um, I only opened, I think, three boxes in that opening of an um, Eternity Code. But I guess over the course of, like, those, I think I opened three or f five before that? I don't remember. So, that's still, like, half the case. But then, counting, like, all the other booster boxes I've opened, I've probably opened up a case of booster boxes. But since, you know, it's not a full case, it's spread out over so many different sets over such a long time. I mean, after all that time, you'd hope i get one out of case, but you know how people, some people might be, Erica the Flame Buddy, um, I know a lot of people unfortunately will open pat or boxes till they, like, if they get a Starlight and just sell the rest of them. Obviously that's not a really great idea because you're not guaranteed a Starlight in a box, and even then you could still go through like every box to the last one and open it and get it, so it's just kind of, you never know what box it's going to be in. Ooh, a shuriken. He looks cool. I don't think he's a good one, but he looks cool. He looks like a Machoke, but with um, two heads and weapons. Oh, he has six arms, not four. Oh, man. He's an evolved Machoke. That's like Mega Machoke. Machoke out of Mega or something. But I thought the Ashura form had eight arms, technically, not six. Kind of like how uh, Zoro has the Ashura form from One Piece. And he gets two heads, and I think he gets eight arms in his uh, region. Rika Kon Kon. Are they singing or just, just going along and she's holding a sword? Wait, is there four new things? Is Gaudi a new one? Or not? Is it because there's. Right, Vernus Fluff, Tier Moments, and Gaudi? Are those all new in here? Or was one from one before and I didn't notice? So that's a lot of new cards. Oh, another one, Tier Moments, Shearing, Nothing Penny, Branded, Moments, Tier Moments, Merlin. They're like water. Okay, they're like Aqua girls, basically. But they're not like fish like, like, mer like mermaids. They're just. Blue, like their Eiffel 64. What's the what's the band that sings "I'm Blue"? Like that, some basically something like that. Gar, Gar rings of resonant life. Kabura. Yeah, it's like two heads. Reminds me of the Ashura because that was two heads. Uh, two monsters, same type of Ashura, with different names. Any battle and production as well. Doubled. Well, one card. This card isn't too bad. <laughs> so probably not a good card, unfortunately, for one of the ultras. I don't think, I don't think any of the ultra, uh, yeah, the contact. I don't think anything I pulled is good. I don't think that secret's a good one either. I think my first box was the good one. I could be wrong though, but I don't really read Ashura, Ashura King's effect. But I mean, I don't keep up with the meta, so I don't know if it's good or not. There could be something else. That it could be used for, but I don't know. Pit Knight Eagle early. There's so many random. Things. I don't. I don't even, is, when it, I don't. I've never even heard of Pit Knight. <laughs> is that is that an archetype or is that just a single one-off? I don't know if that's an Arcanite archetype. I don't think it is. HJ Crosskeeper. Uh, Amaze Attraction. Grandus. Grand Tusk Dragon. Oh, that's cool. I don't need to target after two. That's a decent effect, but I mean, summoning him probably sounds annoying. Just to summon, you have the normal or special summon. I mean, he might be not too hard to special summon. You need to destroy two cards, and after that, he, he's kind of just, I don't know. 
you have to use him as fodder or something because then he just becomes a beast stick of 2400 if you destroy two cards. Otherwise, he only has 1400. Wait, no, 26. No. He just like destruction. And then you have to go on to something. Ivanis. Rulers, Lady of Lament. Carrot. Alfie. Red. Alright. In fact, two more. Life Extreme. Havanas. I was trying to see if I knew. Oh! Melfi's Scaring <laughs> That's a card? Oh my gosh. The Melfi cards are too cute. Melfi wins. I can stare at it for too long. Wow. Melfi is like a top tier architect. How can it not be tier zero? Let's look at them. Oh, why is it stuck? After this, I don't know what the new set is for Yu-Gi-Oh, um, but uh, I'm probably not going to open up anything until that new set comes out. Well, no, I might do another um, opening with random stuff, because I have um, Power Tool Braver Dragon. They made a retrain of Power Tool? In interesting, I don't know why, but okay. But I have extra, like two extra, um, this like boxes of ghosts from the past two, and legendary Duel of Season 2 that I have, or 3, Season 3. Left them and I go through. Um, I mean, but I need to find some other stuff to open with them because, you know, each box of Legendary Duel of Season 3 has 2 packs. And Ghost in the Past has like 3 packs, so. Uh, I should to find some other stuff to open with them. I thought about opening them. Oh, Sprite Elf, that might be a good one. I have no idea if their link is a good one. Well, hopefully it's a good one, Sniff. Because I thought the new archetypes were. So I'm assuming that might be a good one. But I had an ultra on the top of the last one, so this one makes me feel like it is mappable. So is it random when they're mappable or not? Like, that's weird. Like, oh, sometimes they can be mappable, but sometimes they can't. They might not be. That'd be weird. Rika Kana or Kon Kon. <coughs> but yeah, I was trying to find some other stuff to open up with those. Um. I was thinking about doing like one box of this and then um, one of each of those and then the same thing with another box, but yeah, I didn't really want to mix it up like that and do like the same exact kind of thing um, for two videos. So I just wanted to do all of this for Power of the Elements. Oops, I skipped one, one more video. Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos. That looks good. I really like that. looks cool. And it probably is not that great, but it looks cool with him like in a really astral form with like stars around him. But yeah, I was trying to I was decided that with this, I'm gonna try and find some other stuff to open with them. So besides that, um, I don't know when the next new set thing is gonna come out. Um, oh, Morphotronics, Crawler Soma, Goaty of the Deep Sea Beyond. Oh, that thing looks kind of cool. New archetype. I don't know if it's good though. I don't think it is. I don't know if the goody ones that archetype people are going for. I think it's more of the sprites. So it doesn't look like this box is that good from what I can tell. Looks like the first box was pretty good though. At least I think so. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. I, I know the sprite blue apparently I thought was good. But I could be wrong. So I kind of just glanced at the card set. I was mainly focused on the starlights that I won't ever get. <laughs> It is so hard to get turn on sh I got a lot of these in super. But I guess there's only so many supers. <sighs> yeah, I think um I don't know if the next thing that comes out is the new um tin for, or twenty twenty two tin. Um it might be, but I could be wrong. So I might that might be the next new thing to open up. Punk jam. So that might be, actually, yeah, I might save those for that if I, so I might have like, so I open like less tins because I, those 2020 tins don't have too many chases, um, usually, and usually the chases aren't too hard to get except for one or two, and they're usually more like the competitive cards that they reprint, but they make them hard to get, so, I don't know, oop, I skipped two. Good. Gigantic 
sprite. Oh, there's uh, XE Tulsa. I wonder if it's a good one. I have no idea. I have no idea what cards of theirs are good and what ones aren't. Alright. It looks like that was all of them. I think everything, everything, out left, everything else I've left is super rare, probably. But yeah. If there is a set that you think would be cool to chase Starlights from, you can leave it down in the comments if you want us to try and do it. As long as it's a set that's not expensive, like an old set. Like, there's ones I'd love to. Uh, Sprite Jet. Um, chase out of, but they're expensive, you know, like... I'd love to open up Eternity Code again, but the boxes are so expensive, so... It'd have to be a set where the boxes are reasonable, like, you know, like 70, maybe 80 at most, or market or retail on a box. Because I'd definitely have to do, like, a case of them to try and chase one, so... I'd have to find a reasonable one, and... Oh, did I get... Oh, that is another... A secret for some reason. <laughs> I was say, did I get a third? I know that's possible, but you don't see it too much. All right, three more packs. <clears throat> Can we get some last couple packs, packs magic somehow? Probably not, but. That is the life of chasing cards. Eat of the flame body, or buddy. No, I said body. All right. I wonder if that's, is that an archetype, or is that just a standalone? All right. Branded, Gunkin. Does everyone remembers Gunkin Highlander Orbit? Melfi Steering Contest. Alright, one more pack. Oh, one more super rare. But hopefully you enjoyed. Um, yeah, like I said, the next video probably won't be till those 2020 10s, unless I find some other stuff I want to open that stuff with before that. Who knows? But yeah, if you have other suggestions, if you want to do Yu-Gi-Oh, let me know. Comments, um, Pokemon, if you're here for Pokemon and you're just, you decided to sit, this, <laughs> sit through this one, that'll be when um, Lost Origin comes out. I'm waiting on that to come out before I open up much more Pokemon. Ian Wave. Is that a, oh, it's an Elemental Hero card. Okay, interesting. I didn't even, I don't know if I was to pull that one before, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, unfortunately, no Starlight. Not a surprise. So, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.